In this week's chapter of Bleach, Ichigo and the Quincy Leader continue to have their ultimate big final bloody battle, with the Quincy King seemingly going out on top, as he has the ability to see into the future and mess up Ichigo's day. That is until Ichigo finally decides to unleash the power of his brand new Bonkai. Ah, but we're not going to be able to see that until the next chapter. Bleach has practically perfected the art of the cliffhanger ending at this point, and I have to say that this is a chapter that's going to build a lot of hype around Ichigo's brand new abilities. It's a shame as cool and badass as his big Grand Ray Sarah was, it really didn't damage the Quincy King all that much. In fact, it basically just pissed him off and allowed him to start using a lot of cool brand new abilities now that he's covered in a bunch of frickin' eyeballs. He has the ability to see into the future, and pretty much no matter where Ichigo goes, there are going to be these black shadows which just pop up out of the ground and pale him through the feet and through the shoulders, so he always knows what he's going to do. However, there is some sort of secret trick to his abilities, otherwise why would the guy even block sometimes? He could just keep attacking Ichigo. There's clearly something about his abilities we don't know, and there's definitely going to be some sort of chink in that armor. However, the best thing about this chapter, indeed, is the final panel where Ichigo decides that he is going to use his bond. Kai. The hype around this is going to be amazing, and I can't wait to see how it's going to be utilized, if his Bankai is going to be the ultimate combination of all of his abilities, if he's still going to continue to use two swords, maybe he's going to go the Zoro route and use a lot of swords at once, who knows, we're just going to have to wait and see. All I know is I'm really excited to see that, aside from all the action this week, which mostly did dominate this chapter, just a lot of cool panels of Ichigo and the Quincy King swinging their swords into each other, one of the biggest things things was that the Quincy King was basically trying to talk Ichigo down, letting him know that there's nothing you can do. All of the hope that you and your humans cling to is just literally grains of sand, and I can see every single grain of sand which is blowing in the wind, thus I can manipulate all of that, but you continue to cling to them as if it's going to result in your victory. It's extremely berating, and it's exactly what the Quincy King would say, and honestly, it leads to some pretty tense dialogue. I'm actually kind of shocked that they've been sticking to this whole Ichigo versus the Quincy leader fight. I thought that they were going to jump to some of the other events which have been going on in this arc, which there are still a lot of things to pick up. So before we even get close to this final battle, you know that they're going to have to go to those events. In fact, my theory is that the minute that Ichigo unveils his Bankai, he's probably going to show it off, it's going to look really cool, he's probably going to unleash one big massive attack, which might actually surprise the Quincy leader, and then from that point, We'll go off to see what everybody else is doing, we'll wrap up their stories, and then maybe we'll get to the final battle of the series. This is the final arc of Bleach, after all, and I can't wait to see how they're going to wrap up everything. So what's the rundown on this week's chapter of Bleach? Oh, the speculation onto what Ichigo's Bankai is going to be and what it's going to look like. For me, personally, I'm kind of hoping that it's going to take a lot of inspiration from his hollow forms, because... Frankly, those just kicked ass. They looked so metal. I think my favorite forms of Ichigo in the show was either when he went through like his full hollow transformation or when he was utilizing his Visard abilities, when he would pull down the mask. I'm just a sucker for a cool, kick-ass looking skull face, and Ichigo just managed to make it look cool every single time. Although, considering that this is probably going to be an extreme combination of every single one of his abilities, freaking Shinigami, Quincy, Fullbringer, Hollow, we're probably going to see one hell of a combination that we've never seen before. Ichigo is totally running the gamut on multiple forms in the series, and they always manage to be cool in their very own right. As for what the abilities are going to be, I'm not sure. If they are a combination of all of his powers, this might actually give him an edge over the Quincy Leader. Then again, this could be exactly what the Quincy Leader has been waiting for. As we know, this is a character who likes to claim the powers of all of his victims and those around him. He could be waiting for the right moment for Ichigo to unleash his most powerful abilities simply so that he can just take them back for himself, which would be a big twist on this big battle, which would have to involve other people coming in to help out Ichigo before he can get powered up again. But still, like I said, there's still many other possibilities. We still got Uryu and Hoshwalth. We still got the Fullbringers who are hanging around out there. We still haven't figured out what's happened to freaking Orahara. Not to mention Aizen is still just hanging around in a chair somewhere being haughty as hell. There are so many more possibilities for the end of this series that I'm just so damned excited. 
and I just can't wait to read the next chapter, if only to see what his Bonkai form is going to look like, how it's going to affect his weapons, what they're going to do, just the, the possibilities are practically endless for what they're going to do here, and I'm surprised they're not going on break next week, because every single time something really cool happens, they decide that they're going to go on a break. Kind of like One Piece this week. But that being said, this week's chapter of Bleach was really exciting on the technical side of things. All the action scenes looked really impressive, really hard-hitting as well. Again, making me wish the Bleach anime would return. I cannot stress that enough. I want to see all of this in motion, especially for how cool the Quincy leader actually looks. I really didn't appreciate it until this chapter, that form where he's covered with the black cloak with the eyeballs all over him. He looks creepy as hell. Just a really cool and unique looking villain for the series. He looks like and unlike any other villain that we've seen from Bleach, and that's what makes him really unique. Although, I still want more backstory on the character. That's probably going to come right before their battle finishes, because I want to care about the villain a little bit more. I mean, he's certainly threatening, and he has, says a lot of really cool philosophical things, but I just want to learn more about his history, where he came from, why he decided to go down this route of pure evil. There's so much that they could cultivate from his backstory, and I can't wait to see what they're going to do with that, or if they're just going to toss it to the wayside. That being said, this was an exciting chapter of Bleach that all Bleach fans should definitely check out, especially if you're following the manga religiously. There's a lot of exciting stuff here, and I cannot wait to hear all of the speculation and theories about what Ichigo's Bankai is going to be. And that brings me to you guys. What do you want to see from Ichigo's brand new Bankai? What type of powers do you want to see? What form do you want it to take? Please tell me in the comment section below. As for a score for this week's chapter, I'm giving this one right here a 4 out of 5. It was a super exciting chapter, which was very simple, especially in the first half, which is basically just a lot of sword swinging, but then we finally got to some great philosophical talking, the grains of sand, not to mention that final panel of the Bonkai. Woo boy, it's gonna be friggin' awesome! Make sure to check out next week's chapter of Bleach. I will be there to review it for you guys, and hopefully the hype will be real. So, there it is. That's my thoughts on this week's chapter of Bleach. Make sure to check it out and leave me your comments. Thank you, my friends, for watching this review. I really appreciate it. You guys are so awesome. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, follow us on social media, make sure to check out our weekly podcast show, smash the like button. You guys know the drill. Thank you again for watching. And as always, stay dandy, baby.